Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue learning how to solve these simple single step equations with addition and subtraction. These equations are just going to require a little more thinking, uh, nothing too hard, but as you see, it will all become simple as you gain experience. So if we have the equation negative x plus 6 is equal to 4. All right, you want to get x by itself. Now, I realize that the x here has a negative sign in front of it, but for now, just ignore that. You, you kind of look at these things as a puzzle to solve. What do I need to do first? What do I need to do second? The plus 6 here is the biggest problem. We need to get rid of him. So since it's addition, we need to do the opposite, which is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So we have the plus 6. We'll subtract 6 from the left. And then when we do that, we have to subtract 6 from the right. Now when we do that, this goes to 0, so on the left we still have negative x equals, and on the right hand side we have 4 minus 6. So now you know from doing this so many times, anytime you have subtraction, you take the bigger number 6 minus 4, which is going to give you 2, but the sign of the answer goes with the larger absolute value. So here you have a positive 4, you have a negative 6 here, so the larger absolute value is negative, uh, so it's going to be a negative 2. So here is where a lot of students get confused at this point, they don't know what to do next, because you're trying to get x by itself, but here you, you don't quite have x by itself. You have negative x. So that's not really quite the answer. You want to have just x all by himself, just like we've been doing in all of the previous problems. So you need to think about how can I get x by himself? And it's not quite obvious what to do in the beginning, but let me just show you. Remember, you can add, you can add or subtract anything you want um, to this equation as long as you do it to the left and to the right. So, so far we've been adding and subtracting numbers, but we can actually um, move this guy, if you want to think of it this way, we can move it to the other side of the equal sign by 